Linux is a simple, robust computer OS. It runs on all kinds of equipment. 1991 was a good year to change the world. The Soviet Union broke up. South Africa dismantled apartheid. Operation Desert Storm roared through Kuwait. The Super Nintendo was released in the U.S. The first Starbucks opened in California. And in Finland, a young CS student set out to buy the computer that would get him through college. He spent about $3,500 on a gray box that came with a 33 megahertz 386 CPU and 4 megs of RAM. Linus Torvalis was a nerd. When he wasn't studying computer science, he tinkered with his new 386 PC. He liked the challenge of writing programs that ran on naked PC hardware. One of these programs was a terminal emulator that gave him access to the university's Unix system. From there, he could access the early internet. His terminal program grew in size and complexity. Eventually, it evolved into the first Linux operating system kernel. On the 25th of August, 1991, Linus announced his project to the public and invited the rest of the world to join in. At this point, the system functioned as an alternative OS kernel for Minix. The initial announcement generated considerable interest and many volunteers pitched in to help. Linux 0.99 appeared about a year later. It was the first version licensed under the GPL. It was crude, but it had complete Unix functionality. In the 25 plus years since then, Linux has maintained exponential growth in size, complexity, and popularity. The Linux kernel has become one of the largest and most successful open source software projects in the world. The Linux project has created many important secondary tools such as the Git version control system, containers, OpenStack, AWS, and Android. Now Linux runs on a huge variety of platforms. They include smartphones, giant supercomputing clusters, desktops, Chromebooks, smart TVs, Internet of Things appliances, routers, military death machines, and virtualized cloud computing infrastructure. 